This is what happens when a Karen doesn't get their way, resulting in some serious embarrassment and sometimes even being arrested. Let's have a look. This Karen was disturbing the public and wouldn't stop harassing literally everybody for no reason. She was asked to move on several times which she refused to do, stating that she wasn't going to go anywhere until she was embarrassingly dragged away in handcuffs. Let's have a look. Oh. When you're legally detained, you can play back on your video. When you're legally detained, you have a duty to identify yourself to a police officer. Okay, so they're saying when I'm legally detained, which I was not, that I have the... Can you try to run her without a date of birth? White female, approximately 40, 45 years of age. How am I legally detained? Can you we were called here to investigate after I was judged. Okay, so they're saying that... And I called that, you too. Okay, so let I me... I called the police too. Are you going to let me talk or are you going to be the only one? situation worse? No, you are! By not following the law. First of all, I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God, and you are not going to put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to, and it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released... Turn around. Oh my gosh. Oh You're my gosh. Play this game. Oh my gosh. This entitled Karen was getting her nails done and at the end of it tried to pay with food stamps. This obviously wasn't going to happen as that is not a form of currency at this nail salon, which sent this Karen into a total meltdown when she flipped the store upside down. She then got confrontation with the employees trying to fight them and they were forced to call the authorities on her who arrested her in front of her kids. Let's have a look. Why is that? Am I going to jail? For what? For what? For what? What am I? Public intoxication. And this she didn't pay for her services either. Oh, no, because you said you were going to pay for them. I did not say yes, I was going to pay. I, no, ma'am. Yes, yes, hey, hold on. Hey, no, you can't. No, no, you cannot. No, hold on. No, you guys are not getting me in no car. No, you guys are not getting me in no car with my daughter right here, honey. Hey. Get out of here. 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 This Karen was creating hell inside of this McDonald's when she got confrontational with an employee and decided to throw her drink in the employee's face. It wasn't long before her rampant destruction was brought to an end when the police officers had to show up and literally arrest her in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Do not touch my boss! You just touched my face! Get out. You just After literally crashing into this other driver, this lady denied any wrongdoing and started abusing the other driver. It wasn't long before after the fit of rage she decided to take off and actually crashed into the same car she had already hit and got wedged on top of it, completely destroying not only hers, but the other driver's car as well. Let's have a look. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you 
this passerby noticed that this police officer was trying to park illegally on this pedestrian crossing as the police officer stated that he would only be a minute and it shouldn't matter to anyone else. He was then sent into a total meltdown when this passerby called him out for this and blocked the pedestrian crossing, preventing him from parking his car there legally. Let's have a look. I'm blocking you from parking on the sidewalk. Parking. No, it's not. It's a sidewalk. Park, no. You're not allowed to park on the sidewalk. You can go and talk to your commanding officer. You're not allowed to park on the sidewalk. Could you please move, sir? No. You can go park legally. This, this, this is our legal it's park. not legal. Do you want me to cite the city uh, code or the patrol guide? No. You can go park legally. I'm not riding a bike. I'm not riding my bike. You, you are riding your bike. Could you move your car, your bicycle? Please? No. You're, you're, you're operating a bicycle on the sidewalk. I'm not operating a bicycle on the sidewalk. I'm standing next to a bicycle. You're, you're you can move. Could you please move? No. Are you law enforcement? No. Okay, so you, could you please move? No. Can you park legally? Okay, I am parking legally. No, you're can not. You All right, can you move, please? No. No, you're blocking traffic. You're blocking traffic because you're not letting me park my car. Can you please move? Well, you can move your car and not block can traffic. Discuss this after you move. Can you please move? No. Do you want me to cite the patrol guide where it says you can't? No, it's not. This entitled customer had been caught shoplifting by pretending that her baby was in her stroller, when in reality there was a bunch of items she had stolen underneath the covers. She then tried to leave the grocery store, but an employee had stopped her, and that's when she went into a total meltdown, demanding that they move out of her way so that she could take the stolen goods out of the store. Let's have a look. Dude, let me talk to your manager, bro. Stop blocking my way, bud. That's false imprisonment. That's false imprisonment, bro. You're making me uncomfortable, bud. That's false imprisonment. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Can you open it up? Don't touch my stroller, bro. Don't touch my stroller, bro. Let me talk to your manager. Excuse me. Where's his manager at, please? He's like blocking my way, bro. Can you open it up? No, I can't actually. Yes, you can. Can you put your face mask on? No, I don't have any product. I just put him right there. He just said, give me that. Oh my God, where is your manager, bro? I got you a camera taking stuff out. He's already shopping. You don't let me go, bro. But, it's my there's nothing else in there, bro. Look. Open it up. Open it up. Oh, maybe like one more. more. I just got in this store. You bring the rest of it out. There is nothing else in here. Look. Why don't you look? Up. Take the cover Why don't you just look? I'm not doing all that. Take the cover off. I'm not doing all that. I'm going to snatch it off soon. Oh, my God. It's on camera. Go ahead. There is nothing under okay, here. Okay, move it. Move it. Oh, my God. It's yes, a banana. Oh, 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 banana. Don't catch me, bro. First of all. Okay, so this customer was caught stealing and she was banned from the store. Now on her way out, she was humiliated and got really embarrassed because she walked back into the store and tried to turn it upside down by taking all of the items off the shelves and throwing them on the ground, breaking them, and just trying to inconvenience the employees. Have a look. Bye-bye. <laughs> Show to see y'all again. <laughs> Ah, you going to jail. I don't give a Call the laws on her. Ah, your going to jail now. Ah, you'll get right when them laws come. <laughs> ah, you can't get that. You can't get that. Bye-bye. Okay, so this Karen was at a skate park and she was harassing some skateboarders for no reason. That's when a random person came up behind her with a jug of water and poured it all over her head. You can only imagine how embarrassed she was, but it didn't end there. That's when this Karen chased after the gentleman who poured water over her head and slipped and fell down because she was wet. Let's have a look. I mean, I mean, you call the cops. Like, no, 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 no,
Thank you. Take her away, boys. Take her away. This thief had just walked out of a Lowe's with a bunch of items that he hadn't paid for. On his way out to his vehicle, he was actually confronted by an employee who called him out for the items, but the thief stated that it had been paid for. This was not the case, and he quickly tried to put all of the items in his car in order to make a quick getaway. While the employee couldn't do anything physical to get the items back, except plead with him to just hand them over. Let's have a look. What you doing, man? You gonna pay for them? They just said you took them, you sold them. No, you didn't I take that back in there. No, I didn't. I had two returns. You want to go back in there? I had two returns, bro. You want to take? go back in there and straighten this out? What you mean, bro? Get out of my way. Go back in there and straighten this bro, out. It's already straight now. They said you just took them. No, I didn't. Keep hitting me with that and it's assault, buddy, and you're going to jail. You understand me? Well, if you get out of my way, bro, you start going back and go up. Man. You keep hitting me. Hey, bro. Hey, y'all roughing me. I ain't touching you. Go on, get the hell out of here. Get a job like everybody else, brother. This driver was in complete panic mode when they hit another car and didn't even have their license, let alone insurance. This driver then fled the scene in an attempt to get away, only to panic so badly that he drove into a bunch of other cars and making things 10 times worse for himself. Let's have a look. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. This is my mom's car and I was moving. Okay, well you need to call your mom up here and give me your insurance card. I'm calling the police. Thank you so much. Get your car on. You get in the car. You get in my car. What the hell are you doing? Sit down and calm down. This thief had been caught shoplifting and was confronted. She was actually made to pull out her items in front of everybody where a huge crowd gathered around and watched her get caught in the act. After being humiliated and having the items taken back from her, she actually doubled down and got aggressive with the employee who confronted her and even tried to fight him. The security guard had to get called over because of how aggressive she was. Let's have a look. Pops are coming. Oh my God. I just came here to go grocery shopping. Oh! Uh-oh. Razzle time. Razzle dazzle. <laughs> what a show. Security. Yeah, just take her. That's all you had to do is take everything out. Dude! Oh, uh-oh. No respect. <laughs> this Safeway has no respect. I'm just doing the video, man. Ignore me. Just leave. Why, don't, why does she just leave? Are they holding her? Oh, a little crazy. Yeah, I would just bail at this point. Ay, ay, ay. Why don't you just leave? Me? Oh, my goodness. You? I don't even work here. <laughs> Why don't you just leave? You're the one that's stealing sh
Okay, so this lady was caught red-handed stealing somebody's pickup. This lady was confronted for it, and the thing was though, she could have got away had she figured out how to release the parking brake. This lady tried for minutes to release the parking brake and couldn't do it until a group of bystanders crowded her and forced her to get out of the pickup truck. So let's have a look. She tried to steal a truck at my work, but could not figure out the parking brake. What a fail. Call the cops. Knew it. Saw you over there. <clears throat> Shouldn't know how to drive. <laughs> oh, I saw you. Oh, I see her over there. So you guys are the one that made it to my car. This Karen was an extremely aggressive driver when she flipped somebody off after cutting them off. The driver ended up following this Karen and confronting her for it, where she instantly regretted her decision and had a total meltdown. This Karen then screamed that she was under attack and tried to close her eyes to make it disappear. Let's have a look. I don't Karen, are you okay? Can you explain to me calmly? No, because you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking you. Ma'am, you flicked me off. Karen, you flipped me off. No, you no, cut me off no, and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? No, you're attacking me right now. Even talking. Guys, she flipped me off. She literally flipped me off, and then she tried to come home. She's Karen. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why you? Am I attacking her? Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me. Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me off and you thought you could get away with it. You didn't think I would find you. She can apologize for calling me and flipping me off. I'm trying to talk to you. My name is Carlos. Would you like to speak to me? This is what we get picked. Ma'am, why are you sitting here crying? What have I done to you? Okay, so this Karen was actually at the hairdressers and she was abusing the apprentice who was doing her hair for her. Mad abuse, the store owner actually overheard the conversation and confronted this Karen for it, which sent her into a total meltdown where she denied any wrongdoing before trying to punch the employee. And enough was enough and even though this Karen had half of her hair dyed a different color, the store owner decided to kick her out and ban her from the store. Let's have a look. She's gonna do exactly like I do it. Robin, you need to be more trusting. No. But it's me. I would never do anything to make you uncomfortable. I know. I don't want to do that. Well, you're supposed to be what's the customer. Oh. Nuh-uh. Not in this. Not in this room. I'm the boss here, Robin. I'm not paying her. Nope, but I pay her. So she does what I say. And you'll be fine. You want to leave? I will if you don't do my hair. You have your color on. You want to talk to me like that? Yeah. Robin. Sure. Mm -hmm. Robin, she's my assistant. She got hair. I want you to do my hair. I'm Robin, not tell you again. Robin, don't talk to me that way. I have. You can go. No, you're not going to talk to me that way. Oh my God. Robin, you don't want to hear about You're not going to talk to me disrespectfully. It is well, then you don't either. I'm. I'm not going to have you do my hair. Right. right. And just relax. Take it back. I will. Take, Take it back. Robin, you can't talk to people like that and think that people are just going to like do whatever you say. I came to cut my hair. I know. Out. And I'm running a full-blown business and I'm training oh, her. And she, on, wait, sure. wait, really? Honestly, Robin, if you don't want to gear me out and like get to the resolution of this, you can leave with half your color on. Are you going to hit me? Robin, get the out. Oh, and do not cause a scene in my business. You just almost went to hit me, and you know what? Oh, it's on camera. Robin, you did it? Oh, get out. 
While trying to get a difficult parking spot, the gentleman driving the vehicle was intentionally hitting the car in front of him and behind him in order to make some room. A passerby saw what was happening and decided to confront them for this when the girlfriend got out of the car and got in his face. Things escalated quickly when they wouldn't stop hitting other cars, so let's have a look. Oh, now you're hitting cars, bro. Come on. Listen to you, dude. You almost just got hit. Hold on. Dude, hold on. He's hitting this car right here. What are you doing? Don't touch me, please. Don't touch me, please. Please don't touch me. This guy keeps hitting this car. He is. He just hit it three times. The car, right, miss? Yes, yeah, so why am I what such an idiot? What happened that was wrong here that we took- He care? keeps hitting the car! Okay, okay. You, you don't hit people's cars. Okay. Yeah, like, what's- what What don't you get? Get car, Chad. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, get a job, Chad. You don't even know- this group of friends went into the store and they weren't even interested in any of the items and because they were loitering, the store employees asked them to leave. They ended up profiling the employees and just giving them a hard time before they started recording themselves abusing them and they were inevitably asked to leave. On their way out, they even spat on their tables, demanding that they clean up after them and just being pests in general. Let's have a look. Hey, look at her big forehead and look at you. Yeah. Get away well, with well your viruses. Well-educated people. Viruses. <laughs> viruses. Wow. Your face looks smushed in, you literal Chinese. Stop filming me. What are you filming the back of my head? You've already got my face. Bro, legit. <laughs> Okay, so this Karen was actually caught stealing from this family business and in retaliation she tried to assault the store owners. The Karen was not only just caught stealing but she was also an anti-masker who refused to wear a mask in the store that she stole from. After this Karen had been caught stealing she started breaking down and crying and pleading with the store owners that she was going to pay for the items that she was caught stealing. Let's have a look. <laughs> Why are you fighting like a thief? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Like, we caught you stealing from a family business, you thief. Put your mask don't on, thief. Don't Put stop. your mask don't on. Stop. Don't stop. Don't. Yeah, you ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere, thief. Uh, not that I can see. Yeah, I'm crying now because you're caught. You're on probation, aren't you? No, I'm not. So what are you so upset about? Yeah, there's a warrant for her. Right? Yeah, there's a warrant for her. Yes, sir. No, I was going to pay for it. My God. Thief. She might have more merchandise in her bag. Make sure the cops check her bag for more merchandise. I'm going to pay for it. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yeah, but I have a coupon. I have a coupon. I have a coupon. So you're going to sit on here. What are you going to do? Take care of it. This person was caught in the act of stealing from this convenience store when the person started abusing the other staff and customers. On the way out though, the person was not expecting the store to lock their doors and keep them inside while they called the authorities on them. Let's have a look. Yo, dumb mother hey, You was in here stealing. We were the stealing. Here you were. You come up to me up here and I You's a dumb That's why you do can't it again, get do out. Again, do, it again, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Linebacker that help. Linebacker that help. Caught your dumb. <laughs> no, you dumb. <laughs> you <laughs> mad as. Yeah. Okay, why well, did Steve. They got no proof. Yeah, they got no proof. I had to put it in my pocket down the room. That should be took it back. Okay, so this Karen was caught and exposed trying to purchase goods with a stolen credit card. You can only imagine her frustration when she tried to leave the premise and the security guards locked the doors and stopped her from leaving. This is a criminal offense and this Karen can get in a lot of trouble, so she really wanted to leave the building, which the security guard wasn't going to let happen. Let's have a look. Yo, please get me out of here, y'all, please! Please! Hurry up and get me out of here, please! Yes! Yes, they said the card is fake. And they got my ID and everything. He's, he's serious. He said that card is fake. He took my ID! Yes! Please get me out of here! No, please! The police 
trying to get you out of here, of course. Why do you think that's fine? Please get me out of here! I'm in, I'm in PC Richards by the door. They not even let me through. They got my passport and everything. Please get me out of here, please. Please hurry up and get me out of here. I'm not gonna touch you, sir. Please hurry up and get me out of here now. Please. This gentleman was having a total meltdown on this airline when he wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. Things had escalated quickly when he flipped the switch and lost his temper at just about everybody and was incredibly abusive as well. That's when he noticed he was being recorded and focused his attention on the recordee and inevitably was removed from the flight. Let's have a look. You talking to me like that? Take me off. I don't give a I didn't even want to go to Cali. I didn't even want to go to Cali. I didn't even want to go to Cali. You talking to? I will find your name, date of birth, and address. I will know your social security number before I get off this plane. On my daughter, on that same baby that you see me on the on the phone with. What? What? So what the? Yo, yo, cut. What's the plan? What they gonna do to you before? I, what's the law gonna do? Yo, mind your business. Mind your business. Cause I will break your neck. Yo, I'm, let me just explain something. Don't do it. Let me explain something. No need. What they gonna do to you before? It's no need, huh? You told me one thing. I told you I'm gonna leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. You leave it alone. Who you talking to? Gangsters, no need, huh? Yo, you about to go? This is two hours late, man. Try to leave, bro. And I'm sitting here waiting. This Karen was creating hell in this restaurant and not following the same rules as everybody else. After several minutes of trying to fight everybody in the store, she ended up getting herself arrested. Let's have a look. Yes. No. Yo, get the out. Don't I'm tell me what to man. do. Stop. No. They're allowed to I'm not going to be rules. told by some moron. Right. You the moron yeah. with no mask. I'm not stuff. a moron. Why don't you just follow the rules? No, road? it's not a law. I'm not following it. Uh, we just want to get our food. Thanks for watching guys and if you've enjoyed the episode please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.